Hi friends, it's Miss Rebecca here. I hope you're having a good day today. <laughs> today I want to talk about all of this unexpected change we've been having. Unexpected change is when something changes all of a sudden and we didn't know it was going to. And we're not sure when it'll go back to the way it was. Like when Dr. Steepleman said, everybody stay home from school, stay at home. I didn't know that was going to happen. That was unexpected change. Our big change, mine and yours, is staying home from a school. What else is different for you? Maybe there's a grown up who lives at your house who is staying home instead of going to work. Maybe you have had less play dates with your friends. So whenever we have lots of unexpected change and uncertainty when we're not sure when it's going to go back or we don't know what might happen next, we have lots of big feelings. Let's think about some big feelings. You might have been feeling happy. I hope you've had lots of happy times. You might have been feeling confused. Confused is when you're not sure about something. There's something you don't understand. You're confused about it. You're not sure what's going on. You might have felt curious. Curious is when there's something you want to know more about. You're curious about it. If you have felt confused about what's going on, and wanting to know more, you can talk to the grown-ups that take care of you and they can talk to you and answer your questions. Maybe you have felt worried. Worrying is when your brain forgets to think about all the good things. And it only thinks about bad things. And that's what worrying is. And it's not good for your body. And it's not good for your spirit either. <laughs> Maybe you have been feeling nervous. Nervous. When I feel nervous, I feel like there's a beat buzzing around in my belly, and I'm worried at the same time. That's what nervous is. Maybe you've been feeling that way. Let's see what else we have. Oh, maybe you have been feeling excited. Maybe you have had relaxed feelings. When you feel, when your body feels calm and peaceful, I bet you have felt sad. Maybe you've even had some tears because you miss your friends. You might have felt angry. Like, why do we have to stay home? Why is the library closed? I'm feeling mad about it. <laughs> you might have felt these big emotions, and that's okay. Everybody feels all of these feelings, sometimes even grown-ups. So you might even have felt angry or sad, and you didn't even know why, and that's okay too. You might feel more than one emotion at the same time, like me. I was feeling very sad because I miss you, and I missed seeing my friends at school, 
But at the same time, I felt excited because I get to spend a lot of free time, extra time, with my best friend George the dog. And so you might have more than one emotion at a time. Mm-hmm. You might notice the grown-ups in your house having big emotions. If you see a grown-up in your house, if they're feeling worried or maybe sad or angry, just remember that grown-ups have big feelings too. And they still love you even if they're having big scary feelings. Those big scary feelings, when I have them, sometimes, gosh, doesn't it feel like they might last forever? But they won't, I promise. We can come up with ways to manage our big scary feelings, to make our bodies calm again. Now, when we're having feelings like being worried or feeling very sad or angry, when those feelings get really big, that means our love light is dim. It means our brain isn't working as well as it needs to, which means it's really hard to make good choices when we feel that way. And it's really hard for us to be friendly to ourselves and other people. So we're gonna come up with some ways to change big scary feelings back to calm feelings. And I have my friend Party Bear here to help us. Party Bear is my teddy bear from when I was a little girl. Let's see here. We're going to think of some calming activities And calming activities are activities that calm our big scary feelings like worry, sadness, and anger. And they will help us to be kind to ourselves and to others. So, do you have a calming place? I like to be right here on my big comfy white couch with my big comfy pillows. You might like to have a blanket fort, a place where you can hide and be by yourself. Maybe it's dark under your blanket fort and you have a flashlight and you can shine it underneath and have your own special place. (laughs) Maybe your calming place is in a big fluffy chair or maybe outside or in your bedroom. It could be any place that makes you feel good and calm. Oh, what's that, Hardy Bear? Bear breath? Hardy Bear says one way to calm down is using a bear breath. We know how to do that. Ready? Bear breath. (gasps) One more. Ready? Bear breath. Bear breaths can calm your body and help your brain work when you're feeling upset. Oh, we know another type of breathing, three finger breathing. Let's see, should we use zero fingers or three fingers? Let's let Hardy Bear decide. Party Bear says, start with three fingers. Ready? Two more. One more deep breath. That's much better. I feel much calmer. If you are having big feelings, you can ask for a hug from someone in your family. I'm going to send you a video with many calming exercise ideas. But until then, remember, taking breaths can help your love light to shine bright. And Hardy Bear, 
he's going to do something that helps most people feel uplifted and calm again, and that is listening to music and dancing. Let's see. He needs his headphones. Bye, friends. Talk to you soon.